First things first. In order to get a time and status report, you first select the issues to be included in the report. You have several options here. The user option gets report issues based on the selected user. When you pick a user here, the report will contain issues that are currently assigned to the selected user or was assigned to that user in the past. The project option gets issues from a selected project. Only the Jira projects that you have permission to see will be listed here and when you pick a project, the report will contain the issues in that project. The jQL filter option gets issues based on a selected jQL filter. jQL filters that you own or that were shared with you will be listed here as options. The report will contain the issues that the selected jQL filter returns. The Sprint option gets issues based on a Sprint of Azure Scrum Board. This filter makes sense only if you are using Jira software, of course. First you select a board, then you select a Sprint within that board. The report will contain the issues that are assigned to that Sprint. The Custom jQL option is the most flexible filtering option. It gets issues based on a jQL query you enter directly from Time and Status screen. Using this option, you can get issues for multiple users, multiple projects, or you can narrow down your selection based on issue field values. Any jQL query valid for Jira can be used here.